are watching right now, and you know, we were referring mostly to sort of the aftermath reaction to what we've seen, the incredible uh, burning of all of these buildings. The president's walking right now through Lafayette Park, and he's being followed by the press. This was the scene. He said he was going to a very special place when he finished his Rose Garden comments. So we're kind of catching up with him now as we follow these cameras, and the president, I'm imagining, is walking towards St. John's church which is of course the church of the presidents it was uh, part of it was set on fire the nursery section of that church complex was set on fire and this is remarkable uh, Carl what we're witnessing here because he's walking right through the area that was so intense last night where fires were burning um, and the president is I think making a very strong statement by going through here we're gonna see where he ends up but that that's what I'm assuming as we watch this right now what do you think Carl I think that's uh, absolutely right. And this is an extraordinary moment we're seeing here. The president is making it clear to the American people that uh, he, the, we will not tolerate this. There, the, to me, the attack on St. John's Church hit a, a, a chord. Uh, this is a place of uh, great faith, great solemnity. This is a place that has played a special role in the lives of virtually every president of the United States. And for someone uh, to think that they were doing anything other than a engaging in an act of mindless violence by, by attempting to burn this church, uh, it, I was just shocked. And I, I, I applaud the president for making it clear he's not going to be, and therefore our nation is not going to be, cowed by, uh, by, by the evil that it would attempt to do this. I mean, a strong yeah. move by the, uh, by a, the president and, and, and a great place to go. Right. We're just walking, watching him walk right now. We don't know his destination. We're just sort of guessing at it at the moment, but we think it's a pretty good uh, estimation. And, you know, I felt the same way, Carl, when I watched that last night. It really hit me because that church has such significance. Every president has prayed there since Madison. One of the most moving places in that church to me is the back pew where Abraham Lincoln would walk from the White House, slip in to hear the service and usually slip out right as it ended and just walk, just as President Trump is right now, across Lafayette Park back to the White House. And, you know, it almost feels, you know, when you watch the president walking through this area, just sort of you know, retaking this territory where we saw such extraordinary and shocking lawlessness with no yeah. police, you know, uh, it, there were police there, but, you know, no ability in that moment, at least, to stop it. They did stop it later. Yeah. Well, and we've seen this, unfortunately, played out across the country. I, I'm in Austin, Texas, which is a pretty progressive town, sort of liberal in mind. But many of my friends who are from the left are shocked by the mindless violence that was conducted against our state capitol. People spray painted it, historic uh, mm -hmm. lights around the capitol were torn down. It was just mindless. And, and for what purpose? What, what, how did that honor the, the needless death of this man? How did this honor what our country should strive, be striving for, justice? Mm -hmm. what, why, why, why would people engage in this mindless violence except to tear down and destroy, to pit us against each other, to make America angry with itself? I, I admire the people in Minneapolis. I was talking to a friend of mine this weekend up there. who told, He told me about the people who came out to help you know, clean up the damage, who showed up with... with uh, with brooms and mops and energy and commitment to make their community to try and heal their community and god bless them for doing that that's what we need in this moment we need we need the american people to say look this this we we cannot allow this moment to be lost to be tainted by the mindless violence of some who would seek to exploit it for their own narrow purposes we, we as a nation ought to be focused on the necessary the necessity of providing justice to the family of George Floyd and, and asking ourselves, how can we keep that from happening again? Instead, we're, we're, we're forced to watch this. Yeah. Violence against point. our, our uh, great institutions. You know, this is a stunning image yeah. right now. We are watching as President Trump walks by areas that have been denigrated with graffiti uh, that lie right between the White House and St. John's. I mean, yeah. And here we are, as he walks towards St. John, I also want to point out, he's with the Secretary of Defense, Esper. He's with the Attorney General, William Barr. Yeah, Jared Kushner is also in this group, as I just saw a moment ago. And they are now walking over to the boarded up doors of St. John's Church, the Church of the Presidents, as the President gets a look at what has happened. And, you know, this is just... Um,
It's a landmark. It, this is the yellow building that everybody sees in the middle of the screen right now, boarded up on that first floor. Those are some of the offices and the nursery that go along with this very historic church. Um, and I apologize. I know the camera work is, is tricky here because um, they're literally chasing the president uh, as he makes this really, I think, significant moment journey across this park to witness some of this damage that has been done. So we're going to wait till the... Uh, and the president now standing in front of, um, of this building of St. John's, Carl. Martha, look at that. That is that great historic... Someone.